Hey Gemini and welcome back to the channel, Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. My name is Dee and I want to thank you guys for tuning back into the Card House series. Again, this is a reading for my Geminis. Wherever you have Gemini in your chart, um, feel free to apply it. I don't like to um, kind of cut it off to only like Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. I feel like if you have Gemini anywhere in your chart, you can apply this message, okay? Just keep in mind that it is general, so it may or may not resonate. If it does not, that's totally okay. If you're interested in more of a personal reading with me, you can find that information below, as well as if you would like to donate to the channel, you can find that below as well, okay? As always, I like to let it be known that this is a channel of love, light, and spiritual insight. So please don't waste your energy leaving any negativity regarding black magic or dark magic in general because this is not the space for that. Okay? So let's get started. We got a card popping out for you already, Gemini. Um, I want to call you Libra. You could be dealing with the Libra. But the card is love and light. Act with care. Okay? So there's something that you need to... Um, Kind of have like a tender, a tender touch with, a gentle touch with, um, be a lot more nurturing towards, a lot more um, sympathetic, empathetic, empathetic here. Yeah, I'm feeling like you need to kind of just be a little bit more softer, maybe a little bit more submissive, a little bit more nicer when it comes to a certain situation here. Let's see. We have the sixth chakra Archangel Metatron here. Okay, let's see what moon card that we get to come out for you guys. I'm going to go to the book for this um, this six chakra card here, just so I can kind of give you guys a better insight. So I'm feeling like, hmm, you ha you're feeling like an intuitive nudge towards something here too with this card. Yeah, I feel like your intuition is telling you something. Maybe your intuition is telling you that you do need to have more care in a certain situation or towards a certain person here. I feel like you need to follow your intuition in regards to that. All right, Gemini, what else do we have coming out for you? All right. So we have a win-win outcome is in the forecast. Yeah, you could definitely be dealing with a Libra because Libra just had this same card. So this could be in regards to Libra here. Um, yeah, just we'll see. We'll see where the reading goes. But I'm feeling like there's some Geminis dealing with Libra here. Or you're a Gemini and you have Libra highly aspecting your chart or vice versa. Let's see. Let's see what this sixth chakra is talking about here. All right. So it says, this very powerful Archangel Metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow, your brow chakra or your third eye, okay, which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought. When this card appears upright, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and an expanded perspective toward broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning for you, for you're on your way to a developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why. Now it's time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in a few years ahead? Create a clear picture of, what that, of that and support it with your daily thoughts. The insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you now. Okay. So you guys could just be, um, yeah, again, I feel like you're gaining insight about something here. But with this act of care card, act with care. I mean, I'm feeling like it's in regards to someone else, not just you, but we'll see. Let's see what comes out. What is this love and light? Act with care. What is act with care for my Gemini's? All right, so we have Page of Cups. So yeah, Page of Cups is all about um, like the beginning stages of love, emotions here. I'm feeling like you guys are beginning to feel deeper about something or feel your feelings are deepening about someone. Um, this could be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay, Five of Pentacles and the Tower card. 
Okay, so there could be um, someone in your environment who is not feeling their best. They haven't been feeling their best. They could be going through a lot here with this tower card. Um, this could be someone that you've maybe just started talking to romantic-wise, or it could just be anyone, you know, in your environment, a friend or a family member. Um, but I'm feeling like it could be someone new. You're in the talking stages, and... I don't know. I'm feeling like you're just kind of finding out something about them. They're kind of going through something here and there's a need for you to kind of be a companion to act with care. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. I'm also kind of feeling too. Hmm. That card flips all the way across the room. So we're just going to keep shuffling for another one. But, I mean, I'm kind of feeling like some of you guys could be feeling disappointed. Maybe there was a, a new love interest somewhere in the picture. And it just ended up not working out. Um, some sort of tower moment happened. And you just are really feeling kind of alone and down and out about it. I'm feeling like this act with care could be in regard to you, if that is your scenario. Um, how you need to kind of just, you know, not be so hard on yourself or try to, um, look at the brighter side of things, try to, you know, kind of see it as a lesson learned and move on. I'm feeling like you need to love on yourself a little bit. If this is your situation and something, you know, didn't work out with someone else. Cause I feel like you've been really down about it and you need to break out of that. So you need to treat yourself with care if that's your situation. Okay. What is this? All right, six chakra. So we have the hermit card. Now the six chakra is um, the third eye, and it is about insight. It is about you know your intuition and kind of um, decoding things and figuring things out for yourself. The hermit hermit card is just that as well. So you could be involved with a Virgo, or this could um, you could have Virgo in your chart as well here. But I feel like you are definitely deeping doing deeply doing some sort of inner work. Feel like you're reflecting on something you could be reflecting on a relationship and why it didn't work out and that kind of had you you know in your feels and your emotions here what else we have the seven of cups okay so it could be a little bit of confusion here maybe let's see eight of cups yeah i feel like you're confused about what went wrong in this relationship here you're reflecting about you're reflecting on it, trying to figure out what went wrong, why didn't it work out. This person could have walked away from you too with the Eight of Cups here. Um, highly getting water energy, Cancer Pisces, Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, you're trying to figure out what went wrong here. I'm feeling like this tower moment was like totally unexpected. Um, and then we have the hangman that kind of popped out too. So I'll put it down here. So the hangman is kind of feeling stuck, feeling stagnant, feeling like you can't make a move in something, um, feeling like you don't have any options here. Like you just can't figure out you're stuck. You can't figure out what went wrong in this scenario, what went wrong in this relationship or this partnership, friendship, whoever, you know, you kind of fell out with here. Let's see, what is a win-win outcome is in the forecast? A win-win outcome is in the forecast. All right, so we got two cards popping out here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. And we have the High Priestess. Hmm. So Queen of Pentacles, this could be in regards to more Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Eight of Pentacles, somebody is feeling like mentally conflicted here. But then we have the High Priestess energy, which is Pisces energy here, um, very much so Dreamland energy here, more intuitive energy here as well. Let me see. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like this person is going to communicate with you. Maybe they kind of um, have cut you off or communication has kind of changed in some sort of way. Something has happened between you and someone else and it had you really up in your head about it, trying to figure out what went wrong, what you did wrong. Um, but we do have a win-win outcome. It's in the forecast here. Hmm. 
Let's see. What is this Eight of Swords? What is this Eight of Swords? Yeah, I'm feeling like for some reason you guys are not talking to each other. Just because we have these two cards here. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles and she kind of has her eyes closed looking towards one direction. We have the Eight of Swords in the middle, which is being like just conflicted, not speaking to someone, not being on good terms with someone, just being at odds. And then we have the High Priestess here. Her eyes is closed as, are closed as well. So... Hmm. Let me just pull some more cards on this. Spirit, what is this about? Okay, so we have the Emperor. But like the Queen, um, someone here is feeling a little bit prideful. Maybe someone's pride got in the way of something. The Fool card and the Two of Cups. So yeah, a win-win outcome is in the forecast. I feel like things are going to work out for you guys. Again, whether it be a romantic interest or a friend, best friend, um, a family member you fell out with. I'm feeling like someone ego got in the way here though for the, um, because of this Emperor card. I don't feel like it was you, Gemini. I feel like it was the other person, but I'm feeling like that they are going to come to their senses about that and they're going to drop their ego um, and kind of want to start all over with you or kind of clear the air with you so you guys can come back um, come back into union here with this Two of Cups card, okay? Now at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Swords here. So this is air energy. Again, you could be dealing with the Libra here. Um, but it's either you I'm feeling like this is you. You are defensive towards this person, or you will be, because whatever this tower moment is, it really hurts your feelings here. But I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to make it up. So you can kind of get out of your head, stop dwelling on it, stop trying to figure out what you did wrong, because I honestly don't think it was you. I'm feeling it was the other person here. Let's see. I feel like they're going to make it up to you some sort of way. Possibly this weekend. If this is a romantic interest for Valentine's Day. Yeah, they could have acted in some sort of way, made you confused. You don't really know how they feel about you. All right. Yeah. So we have the card. It says breathe. Just breathe. Stop trying to figure it out. Just let this person come to you because they're they're going to come to you. I'm feeling an apology coming in here. I feel like you just need to relax because this person is going to, um, you know, figure out whatever they need to figure out on their end whether it's an ego issue or what's going on i feel like it's going to be communicated so just woo don't worry about it and things are going to work out okay gemini hopefully this helps don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time